Welcome to Specific Love. We live out in the country and we have a problem with carpenter bees. They like to burrow in about anything that is wood, make these half inch holes and lay their eggs so that the next season they're just more and more and more. So for this project, I'm going to show you how to build a simple homemade carpenter bee trap, which is things you already have around your house. Let's begin. I first started by grabbing a scrap piece of 2x4, measuring out to about 4.5 inches. I plan on making a few of these traps, so I set up a stop block on my miter saw and proceeded to cut several pieces. I next made a mark at the center of one end, and made a small indent so the bit would stay centered. I then clamped the block to my workbench to keep it secure. Using a 1 inch spade bit, I added a piece of tape on the shaft to mark my depth. The depth does not need to be exact, but should go at least 3 quarters of the way through the block. I then carefully drilled the hole making sure to keep the drill straight. This hole now made this the bottom of the block. I then unclamped the block and made a mark on each narrow side about 1 to 2 inches up from the bottom. At that mark I used a small bit to make a starter hole, but as I drilled I slowly angled the bit to about a 45 degree angle and plunged it to full depth toward the center hole. Now the angle did not have to be exactly 45 degrees as long as it was pretty close. Once the starter hole was in place, I used a half inch bit to enlarge the hole. If you look closely, you can see the side holes provide a clear path to the center hole. I then added a poultry staple to the top of the block for hanging. I then grabbed an empty water bottle and drilled the vent holes in the bottom with a small bit, along with a pilot hole in the cap, followed by a half inch bit to enlarge the hole. I did not feel the hole was large enough, so I used a pocket knife to widen it just a little. I then test fitted the lid which fit perfectly in the bottom hole. I then used some super glue to secure the lid in the block. And after giving it a few minutes to dry, the lid was held in place. I then prepped several more scraps. Some were a little longer and some shorter. At this point I wanted to test out a 4x4 block because I could make 4 entrances on this trap. So I cut it down on the miter saw and repeated the drilling process that I did before, except this time it needed four side holes. Also on this block, there was a large crack, so I made that side hole a little offset, which worked great. For this trap, I decided to use an old tomato sauce mason jar. So I test fitted the lid, drilled out a half inch hole in the center, and secured it in place with two screws, making sure to avoid the holes. I then braced the block on two other pieces, making sure the lid was not being used, and hammered a poultry staple into the top. And the trap was complete. To hold each of the traps, I used a simple screw and hook. And then, hung them in place. Now the best thing about these traps is they're easily modified and you can make them fit in your situation and however you wish. Now if it's about the project right here, you might want to check out. Otherwise, have fun building.